What's going on guys, Nick here, and I'm finally back with a commentary. I know it's not the typical NHL commentary that you'd usually see on this channel, but um, the reason I haven't been uploading for around the past two months has been because of laziness mostly, and because of no motivation, but I'm going to have that in a new video, so don't worry, it's going to be in like a channel update kind of video. So, I will talk about a bunch of stuff like the PS3 All-Star game, which I'm going to be in. With a bunch of fun YouTubers, like, I'm not going to explain it right now. But, Bacon's going to be in it, he's going to be goalie. So, I'm just saying that. I'll have that in the channel update, too. But, um, so, if you have no idea what I'm talking about because you're just searching how to do this tutorial, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, so, this tutorial is how to do the signature that was in my speed arts that I've been using because I like to put the signature of the, the hockey player that I'm doing the speed art on right next to them in the video and I did that with my Andre Kopitar in episode 1 and Claudio in episode 2 and in episode 2 I got a comment saying I love how you put in his autograph can you show how to do that and that was from XX Bowie Hockey 12 XX so I'm going to show you how to do that today so you're going to go to file new and then you're going to open your photo so I'm gonna just lock my phone. All right, so I don't know why I'm on the race tool. So what I would usually do is just bring in, go to my pictures, go to a random background. Oh, let's just take this. So you would just bring it up here. You do that, and then I would do file, new, just do another photo thing. Or do the player, but I'm not gonna do the player. I'm just gonna bring in an autograph right now. So autograph, let's do a Patrick Kane autograph. What you're gonna do is enter and Okay. Is that no. Alright. I was just trying to see if that was a shortcut kind of way. But you're gonna is if it lets me double click, alright, it just took a little while. Wait, no. What do you have to right click on it? Yeah, that's it. You right click, click rasterize layer. And if you don't have this right here, which I'm on, this uh <laughs> stick with the spark on it called a magic wand tool if you don't have it that's because you're looking at this it's fourth from the top you left hold down left click on it and you go to your magic wand tool hold down shift click on the spaces you want to delete so for me that'd be all the white you're gonna click on it keep clicking everything you miss you can just zoom in on after and delete you can just keep clicking just trying to do this very precise right now Cause I'm fucking tired. It's like two in the morning. Actually, it's exactly two in the morning. All right, so keep clicking. Uh, I'll fix everything after. Actually, I might get this if I can get this little thing right here. And I'm gonna click the backspace button or, or delete. And I might have already done it because I can't really tell because it's on a black canvas. And yes, it did do it. I mean, so I'm on a white canvas. And then you can just drag it in. Do uh, control T. Obviously, it's not the best because you can see. And then control T is the transform button. You can just arrange it how you want. You can click enter and you just have a signature. So that's how you do that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's a lot easier than doing the freaking quick selection. Where you have to go through every single spot or the last which one. You have to go through every single freaking thing. It's so much simpler. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you want, I can uh, do a tutorial on Topaz Labs shit thing. If you guys want, leave the comment.